What is the best way to smoke a whole chicken? I researched how 18 pitmasters I admire smoke chicken, making note of what they do in common and where they differ. And where they differed, I ran my own experiments testing everything from which smoking woods to use, to brining methods, to different ways to get perfect crispy skin. In this video, I'll walk through how to make smoked chicken with an insane honey butter mop sauce, step by step from preparing, brining and seasoning the chicken, to smoking, crisping up the skin and resting it. First, we're gonna prep our chicken. This one's free range, which I'd recommend. By being free range, it means the chicken's had more exercise and therefore less fat, which is gonna make our lives a lot easier later when we come to crisp up the skin. I'm going to spatchcock this chicken, which just means cutting out its spine and giving it a good press to flatten it so it cooks more evenly. And next, I'm just going to cut off any excess bits of fat. So next, we're gonna brine our chicken. This is gonna help get flavor deep into the meat while preventing it from drying out. So we're gonna go over wet brine today. This is just water mixed with 5% salt. And by the way, I've put all the instructions and the research behind this video in a PDF, which I'll link to in the description below. Now, if you don't have time to do a wet brine, you can just sprinkle some salt over the chicken and put it on a wire rack tray uncovered in the fridge, ideally for at least a few hours, up to 24 hours. This is called dry brining and it will give you a pretty good result. It just won't be quite as juicy as doing a wet brine. Okay, so our brine's all done. So we're gonna pop our chicken in there. I'm gonna pop that in the fridge. All right, it's game day. I'm gonna take the chicken out of the brine and give it a really good pat dry with a paper towel. Remember, water's the enemy when it comes to getting crispy skin, so we really wanna get this as dry as we possibly can. Before we put the rub on, we're gonna coat the chicken in olive oil. This is gonna help our rub bind to the chicken. Next, we'll go on with a decent amount of pepper. Normally, with chicken, I'd use salt, pepper, garlic, but because this chicken's been sitting in a salt water brine for 24 hours, I really don't want it to be overly salty, so we're just going with pepper and some garlic. And last, we're gonna add our barbecue rub on both sides from a good height so we get even coverage. There's no right or wrong answers here, just something that you like the taste of. Ideally one with a nice red color, we'll just give it a really lovely color, but just go easy on the salt because we've already brined the chicken. So we're gonna smoke this chicken at 275 today. This was the most common smoking temp among the 18 pitmasters, but we're also gonna give ourselves the option if we need to, to ramp up the temperature at the end of the cook to get crispier skin. But we'll see where we are when we get to stage five. I'm gonna add some cherry wood as I think it works great with chicken, but if you're not sure which smoking wood to use, the most commonly used among the 18 pitmasters was oak. So our smoker's just coming up to 275, so time to get the chicken on. So while we wait for our chicken to come up to temp, we're gonna make our mop sauce. So we're gonna combine 55 grams of unsalted butter, a tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, pepper, salt, and third of a cup of white wine vinegar on a low heat. I'll put all of this in a PDF linked in the description and you can do this the day before and pop it in the fridge if you like. So our chicken's been on the smoker for about an hour. We're at 135 in the breast. We're looking to get this up to 165, so we've got a little while to go. But I'm gonna go in with the first mop and then we'll keep mopping every 15 minutes or so just to help crisp up the skin. So our chicken's coming up to 150, so we're gonna take a look. If it looks like the skin's crisping nicely, we'll just keep going as we are. But if it looks like it needs a bit of help, yeah, I think that needs a bit of help. We'll ramp up the smoker temperature to around 325. So our chicken's just come up to 165, so we're gonna take it off and let it rest for 15 minutes until it's cool enough to handle. So when I was pulling the chicken off the smoker, I accidentally dropped one side of the grates and unfortunately quite a lot of the rub came off and it looked quite patchy. Now it still tasted great, but I wasn't very happy with how it looked. So I've done another chicken, done everything exactly the same. The only thing I did do a bit differently is I used a lighter olive oil because I felt the olive oil I used last time was quite, it was extra virgin olive oil and the rub didn't stick very well to it. So I've gone a bit lighter with the olive oil and here's what we've got. All right, time to give it a taste. So this is super, super crispy, super juicy. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Took a bite into it and a ton of juice just came straight out. Crikey. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Super moist, super tender, tons of flavor, really nice crispy skin. Really impressed actually with how crispy that skin is. It's almost like fried chicken, you can see. So good. Now, as much as I'd love to take credit for this, this is really all down to the 18 brilliant minds who share their wisdom, share their recipes. So I just want to thank them all for doing what they do and for giving me a very good lunch. And I've linked to all of them in the description below. Speaking of which, if you want to try this at home, there's a PDF link in the description below that you can print out so you've got a handy checklist during the cook with all the temps, timings, quantities, and choose your own adventure steps that you can skip over. If you enjoyed this style of video, please let me know in the comments what you'd like me to try next. I had a lot of fun putting this one together, but it was a lot of work, so I'd love to know if you found it useful. And if you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next experiment.